Hello and welcome to the Eastside Rooms here in Birmingham for a night of professional boxing with BCB Promotions. I'm Paul Webb, joined by Dan Moll. We'll have Tyler Denny joining on commentary as well. Dan, final show of the year, 22nd show, 22nd show five fights. Looking forward to it. Yeah, really looking forward to it, Paul. It's been a manic year. We've had some massive ups and, and a few downs, but not too many. It's been a real good year for BCB. And not, nice to finish with a little home show just to, uh, to get ready for uh, Santa's visit in a couple of days' time. Now, we've got a couple of debutants on the card tonight, but Troy Jones headlining in that sixth rounder. Really good looking prospect, Troy. We've seen him fight here before. A lot of potential. Yeah, loads of bags of potential. Really nice kid as well. Um, from Birmingham, lives out in Tamworth now. Changed, changed trainer to Lee Beard, and we, we've seen some of the fruits of that labour coming to fruition now and, and topping a bill again uh, here in Birmingham. So, yeah, looking forward to seeing Troy in action. Well, there's plenty more fights we'll talk you through as the night starts. The boxing is just about to get underway, so we'll, the, the, the stream will be on live. Put your comments and questions in. As I say, we have got Tyler on commentary. So, Dan, thank you very much. Thanks, Paul. Good evening and welcome to the Eastside Rooms here in Birmingham for a night of professional boxing. I'm Paul Webb, joined on commentary tonight by English middleweight champion Tyler Denny. Tyler, great to have you on. Final show of the year, 22nd show for BCB and uh, some good names in action tonight. Yeah, definitely. Good to be here. Like a bit of a festive boxing just before Christmas and the New Year. I look forward to even this fight, even as an away fighter, uh, uh, Cummings, you never know what you're going to get. Sometimes it, it turns up his game. Yeah, first fight back to get into way. Uh, sees Kay Jimenez in with Paul Cummins. Cummins is a uh, Tyler said they're a very familiar name. We've been on so so many shows last couple of years. Really, really active. Uh, him fighting in the blue shorts. Jimenez in the grey. Um, Jimenez's story absolutely fascinating. Uh, starting off here, good. Yeah. Starting very quick. Very, very quick. We'll get back to his story in a second as he unloads a lot of shots there. Not all landing cleanly there, Tyler, but yeah. a, a big flurry to start the first round. 
It's a good start. Let's see what he's like in the beer. Oh, good shots. Uh, as I say, Jimenez, he's looking to campaign at Super Walter. And uh, he's from Syria. He was born in Aleppo. Moved over to the UK and works over here now on the uh, on the doors, I believe. And you need to have a bit about you to do that for a job. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That's a good chance again. Caught with God, clean one now. He is. I'm going to say it is his debut, and is there potentially a risk that he kind of tries to do a little bit too much in this yeah, first round? I think he's very keen, keen and green. Yeah. Paul Cummins' is 74th fight. Only won three of them, but he's been live in a lot, and he stopped a handful of times. And both men really are just trading shots yeah. in the middle of the ring. It's entertaining, definitely. I say it's only four rounds, but you, I'd like to see um, what the pace if we're able to keep the pace up. Yeah, good uppercut landing there on the right hand over the top. Took that shot back as well as he knew it wasn't going to land, and a good jab on the right hand. Shot. This has been an impressive start from Jimenez. Yeah, very really good. Not to stop punching. <laughs> And Cummins isn't really looking to kind of tie up or slow the action down, is he? No. Good counter left hand there from yeah, Cummins, and again. Tried it again then. He's hitting them uppercuts though. Yeah, that's Tyler said the uppercut landing cleanly. Right, step back. Step right back, don't punch on the right. Step back. Jimenez has a, a decent amateur pedigree. You've got a silver medal at the Harangi Box Cup. He's displaying nice footwork as well there, yeah, Ty. Looks really active on his feet. Yeah, in and out, up the pitch straight. Put some great shots together here. Oh. Yeah, it's a bit oh, of a job in here that Cummins well. is suffering. He's taking the beating, Cummins at the minute. He just can't miss with that right hand, can no. he, Jimenez? Oh. And a double jab landing through. Again, Cummins there managing to get his left hand up. A very, very dominant opener. Uh, Cummings looks frustrated there, appealing about punch around the back of the head, but that's his one side of the 10 round run, as you're going to see, aren't you? Definitely, that's a great debut first round, isn't it? And I think, to be fair, if you just tie him a bit, you may as look, because of the amount of shots he's thrown, it might even help him, might pick his shots a bit more, but he could miss, really. Constantly, uh, Cummings is going to earn his money tonight. Certainly is. This is our first fight. There's five scheduled. Uh, Liam Gold, Shazad Amran, Jake Melvin and Troy Jones also in action. This one scheduled for four rounds. As we say, well travelled Jimenez. He had uh, a spell over in Spain. And uh, he's had a, a long time waiting for his professional debut. I think he was hoping to make this a significant time ago. but. Started very strongly. Yeah, got good people in this corner as well, the McCrackens. Yeah, working with the, uh, the father and son teams. Yeah. And that is a bit of a theme of the evening tonight. We've got uh, Jake Melvin, son of Malcolm, and uh, yeah. Liam Gold. And his father obviously was also uh, heavily involved in boxing in the Midlands. Coming starting the round with a higher guard, Tyler, isn't he? I think he's Yeah, I think he's going to need to. But you don't see, like I say, he's a genuine, but there's no head movement at all, though, is there? No. Looks very static on his feet yeah. tonight. And this isn't what we've always seen. We've obviously, ourselves with Simple Paul numerous times, and he is finding it difficult in there. I say, his blood running down his nose as well. It's going to make it more difficult breathing in there. Yeah. Him and there's the smaller man, but fighting quite a nice compact style, isn't he? Yeah. Looks like he's got, he got a good build to him, to be fair, doesn't he? Looks strong. Yeah, coming, starting to move a little bit more. I think he needs it, doesn't he, Ferrer? But again, walking onto another couple of shots on the left hand. Ooh. Right hand over the top there, didn't carry much power, but again, it was another point scoring shot. Coming through a tired looking up a cut then. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna, he, he can't keep taking combos like that. I think the ref might jump in if he, a few more. 
Yeah, he'll know that Paul is a, a very strong and game fighter, but he's not yeah. there to be teed off on. And it's starting to get that way. Jimenez getting a little bit loose there, missing a couple of shots, but a big right hand straight from the middle again. He's just non-stop. Right. It's been pretty relentless since the beginning of this one, right from the opening bell. Maybe Cummins open, uh, Jimenez is going to slow down, because I think he slowed down a bit from the first round already. Yeah, Cummins lands left hand of his own. And right out to the body. That blood visibly causing an issue there for Cummins, isn't it? It's um, yeah. just dabbed away. I think he's got a little bit of swelling to the left hand side of the face as well. It's been a, well, it's been a bruising two rounds so far for him. It's better with head movement from him now. Yeah. He's been there before. He will work his way into fights. Kai, yeah. Kai's been dominant in it, and I think dominant, but he's still getting, you know, I think he's learning from this as well. It's a great fight for him, man, for yeah. his first fight. An ideal first fight, really. It's good for his fans as well, you yeah, know, if he's selling tickets. Oh, he's big hurting left hand. He's hurting. The referee oh, he's just hurting. Take referee's taking a look. Paul comes firing back and an uppercut for a fantastic shot there. <laughs> Not really out the textbook, but it landed very nicely. It's going, be a long, uh, it's going to be a long last two rounds for Cummings, I think. Yeah. He's in everything you can ask for, wouldn't you, from a, a debutant? Yeah, cracking start. I say thank you for those joining us live on YouTube. Uh, by all means, give the, uh, the link a quick share on your own social medias and any questions or comments about the fight, fire them in. As I say, we have got Tyler Denny on commentary with me, so uh, if you want to speak to ask any questions to the uh, English middleweight champion, then fire them in. See, we have a uh, Santa themed ring card girl tonight, no expense spent. I never noticed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Cummins comes out firing with a massive right hand. That's a wake up call to him, isn't it? <laughs> you want to half. Tried it again then as well. That's why I like him because, like you said, the loss in that, but he don't just come to tuck up, does he? No. And he needed that, didn't he, yeah. I think. You know, he needed a decent start. That will put him in as his guard up a little bit higher. Will make him a little bit more cautious. Right, Jimenez looking to go back to the jab. Right hook to the body. Cummins is going to have to let them body shots, isn't he, if he's going to keep that guard so high. Yeah. He's a tall man. Oh, he that fits through the guard then. Shots falling just short there, but looking to try and manoeuvre Cummins. Cummins' defence a lot better this round, Tyler. Yeah, definitely. I think it helps as well that the volume slowed down, which it, it was a bit inevitable, really. I don't think you can keep that pace up the way it was coming. It was crazy. He's got more in for a jab for jab now. I say it is his debut, Jimenez, but he is 30, he is 30 years old, and not that it's a young, not that it's an old age, should I say, but he will want to feel he needs to get, get yeah, this one out of the way and get back in as soon as possible. Oh, there's no reason why not. He's, he sold a few tickets here and that entertaining style. I'm sure he'll sell even more next time. Yeah, and that's half, that's half your battle in it as a prospect. Yeah, definitely a, a decent style. He's got a lot of support. I was say, there is nice a big big Syrian community in the West Midlands. Yeah, both men trading shots but nothing landing too clean. Left up to the body from Jimenez. He's looking to look, looking to go downstairs. Definitely yeah. a tactical switch in this round. Yeah, time. definitely. I, yeah, it could pay off as well. And even if he ain't throwing punches, which is He's gone back, he's picked the pace back up now, fair play to him. But he's in, he's in Cummins' face all the time, he's not, he's not giving him a rest mentally or either. Me either. Hey, away. Yeah. 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 Left 
left hook to the body there from Jimenez. Again, he's, like, it's like you pointed out earlier, it's a lot more single shots now. Yeah. Is it, I think it's a lot easier to defend against. That's it, nice quick, that's it, good body yeah. shot to look still. Yeah, body it. shot looked to have hurt Cummings and again. Yeah. Took a big deep intake of breath there. Yeah. He, he shakes needed, his head Yeah, he needed that bell. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Impressive, man, he's impressed me. Yeah, very decent start so far for Jimenez. I always remember my debut as well, is at the venue at Dudley. And I, I think I, I'd like to think I went out like this and then the fourth I just crashed. <laughs> so I think if you didn't crash, you did a lot better than I did in my, in my first fight anyway. I mean, he's got the amateur experience as you yeah. do. What's, what are those nerves like the first fight night? Because it, it must feel so different. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I think, I think once you're in there at the beginning, but the, when you, you ring walk and stuff on your pros time, which is completely different, you got your music on. It's a, it's a lot bigger deal in these professional, so it's a massive thing. It's something I learned to deal with anyway. But I don't think he's faced him from what, how he started. Yeah, and obviously you're fighting on, or have been fighting on huge cards of late. Does it does that feel any different, or is it, it's a ring walk, it's a ring? Do you ever take in, or what can you, do you ever look up at the crowd? Uh, I've always yeah, wondered. I, I'm the opposite, really. I just, I probably don't enjoy it as much as I should do. I don't, I don't want to get involved in looking around and stuff. I just focused on the fight and that's it. And next thing you know, he, he finished. I watch it back and I can enjoy it more then, I think. Ooh. Yeah. You can let that corner out. Keep him there. Yeah, Jimenez yeah. has Cummins trapped in the corner, but a little left hand from Cummins give himself a bit of space and he's manoeuvred down the ropes. But again, good combination punching here from Jimenez. Yeah, that's what I like. He just taps, taps and then wicks one in. Yeah, because it, look, it might look on the camera like the guard is being kept, but those punches are yeah, getting, getting through. through definitely. And left hook to the body, which is a punch that was giving Cummings some trouble yeah. in the third round. I think that's what works for you. Just, he throws a few to the head, distracts him, and then whips the body shot in. Right, step back. Step back. Yeah, yeah Cummings, I mean, there's head hunting there a little bit. He's got a good variety of shots though, he throws, he throws yeah. everything really, straight, hooks, uppercuts, body shots. And creates good angles as yeah. well, doesn't he? Yeah, another left uppercut inside. And again, he's picking the pace up now to finish yeah. his knee. He's just been relentless the whole four rounds. <laughs> that, that, that's the word, isn't it, really? Yeah. Cummings just waiting to hear the bell now. Yeah, another couple of big shots there. The referee will give Cummings every chance. Yeah, he got a reputation of his toughness, you know. But there's some big shots Ooh, getting yeah. through there. Right hands and left hands to the body. <laughs> Cummings comes back with a body shot yeah. of his own. There's no backward step for Cummings either. He's taking no. all them shots. He has to be said, Jimenez is showing very little regard for his own defence, but yeah. he must be just feeling that confident. And he's barely missed the punch this round. <laughs> he's entertaining, man. He, yeah. You're getting your value from winning with him. Oh, yeah, that's another big shot. left hand. Yeah, that's hurt him. Oh. Oh. And again, big shots on the ropes. Not long to go in the round. We'll come and see the final bell. I think Cummings' reputation has helped him out here because yeah. I think there's a few times where if you never knew Cummings would, you, you couldn't be good to the ref for uh, even yeah. now. I the think there's, there's a few refs that would have stopped yeah. this fire. Oh, definitely. And you couldn't mount, could you? There's combos and shots after shots with no reply. Right. Excellent performance, excellent debut from Kay Jimenez. Hard night's work for Paul Cummings. And a very good professional debut. Yeah, I'm sure everyone will be happy with him. The entertaining as I enjoyed that. Yeah, just to wait the scorecards. You can see a lot of um, prospects against like your, 
your road warriors and that and they could be quite boring couldn't they they took yeah. up and the odd jab here and there but there was just shot after shot landed on this yeah. that was a, pro that a proper fight i'm not yeah, sure how many of those poor ones to be having but that's <laughs> Okay. But it is. It's it's fighting every week, you can't be fighting like that, no, can you? No, not at all. Tough, tough night's work for Paul Cummins. We'll just be await the uh, referee scorecard. Anything other than a 40 36 will be a big surprise, yeah. but you never know. MC for tonight, Ricky Wright, continuing the Christmas theme with a rather fetching looking cardigan. After I've seen two judges give man 95, 94 the last fight, I think, I think anything's possible. <laughs> Anything is. Nah, it's a shootout really easily, that is. They're expecting so. takes it 40 points to 36 dominant professional debut as a uh, Carl Williams enters the room looking very dapper it does yeah me and we'll be uh, Okay, I mean, it's amazing debut. How you didn't force the stoppage, I don't know. The referee gave him every chance in there. How did you find that experience? It's a good experience. It's my first professional fight. I've still got a lot to learn. I could see he was hurt, but I couldn't find really my shots. I need to work on my phases, I believe. I need to work more on my jab. I'm going to go back to the work where we train with Spence Senior and Junior. See what fault is I need to. I need to get that more killer instinct. I need to get more specific shots, land them where it should be landed. I think I hurt him a few times, but he's quite experienced to be honest. He took it, he, he acted like he got no hurt, but I can see, I can hear him breathing heavily. But to be honest, I didn't apply what I wanted to do, what we worked in the gym. There is something lacking then. I do put my heart in the gym. I believe I put my heart in there, but there is something more I always can improve and I can do. Well, I think you're a little bit hard on yourself there. I think you box really, really well. A quick word just for the fantastic support you had this evening. I know obviously you've got a lot of guys here come and support you. Just a quick word for your fans. I just want to thank everybody who came, bought a ticket, or either cheered me up or even believed in me. No matter what, some people could make it. Where I'm from, a lot of people cannot make it. They support me with their heart. As long as they know I'm here and I'm fighting, that's, that's enough for me. But big thanks for the BBBOC for giving me this opportunity, for BCB, for yourself, my trainers, my mother, my brothers, and my girlfriend, and especially for Warren Lynch, who introduced me to the McCrackens. And I want to thank this gentleman here, Spence McCracken Jr. He was a great help, found me a room, got me a job and got me my license and I'm here I am and this is for one for two more many congratulations Kay thank you congratulations. thank you
Second fight of the night, Liam Gold, George Rogers. Tyler Liam's second fight, so he's got his debut out the way. As we talked about earlier, that experience and those nerves of getting your first one. What will he be looking to do tonight against a guy in George Rogers who's, you know, 25 odd fights into his career, uh, has been proven that he can be hurt, can be dropped. But what do you think Liam will be looking to get out of this one? I think just about building on your first fight, isn't it? And I remember Paul Goff uh, always saying to me, like, you, most debuts, you're probably only about 50%, there's a lot of nerves, and I think dealing with tickets and stuff, there's a lot of stress involved. So hopefully he can just relax and be, be himself tonight. I thought the last, um, Kay as well, in his speech, I thought, I wouldn't say he's a bit harsh on himself, but I'd like to see the more constructive criticism that he was giving himself, do you know what I mean, to build to build for his next fight already. He was, I mean, we didn't get too long with him because the next fight was just about to begin, but I was guessing he was, he was very self-critical, but you yeah. can see that he's, he wants to work, and I thought that what he said about his shot variety, I thought was wrong. I thought yeah, he, yeah, he talked on yeah. comms that he, he really mixed it up well. So, but uh, if I'd, he's his I'd own, rather more that way than the other way around, though. Yeah, than thinking you're something that potentially yeah. you're not. Definitely seems a very nice guy, humble guy. Yeah, and he did, did have sure. some great support in here this evening. And uh, again, he's, it's the importance of a good team, and you, you know all about that with having the guys around you and having Spencer in his corner. And yeah. as you say, helped him get a job and everything to do with getting his license. It's been a, it's obviously got a good relationship between the pair. Yeah, it's nice to see. Right, into the action in the ring. Say, so, Liam Gold in the dark grey shirt. That's it. Looks sharp. Side off sharp. Jab to the body from gold. Oh, right, right hand there. Again, it probably pay for Rogers to look at the previous fight and just think about how he's going to approach his action. But again, he's been caught with a couple of shots early. But he is good at slowing down fights. He is good at tying up opponents. Yeah. Just like, just like a little hold. The punches he throws aren't necessarily always the, again, straight from the textbook, but there's enough to keep the opponent off. Yeah. The power advantage Gold has is very clear. That's the noise yeah, of the shots shot he's there. landing. Yeah, there's Good. that real snap in it, you can hear it. Good left hook to the body there from Gold. in the corner but again he was tied up quite easily there yeah I think mean, I found myself doing it sometimes you just lean over the front foot and you give him the opportunity to be able to hold hold you what's the what causes a fight to get trapped in that situation where you do get grabbed is it just is it throwing your punches too late is it moving your feet too quickly like I think you've thrown it maybe a bit too keen and you lean over and you, you're in a position where they can't get hold of you and they can just stop whatever flow you've got. I think as you go on, just simple lean on the back foot a bit, keep, keep your distance a bit more. But I think the more, like you say, it's his second fight. Yeah. It, you, you learn them little things as you go as you go along. Yeah. Fairly quiet opening that one, but uh, definitely a, a gold round. Yeah, 100%. They look sharp in there. It's very sharp. But my, my, hopefully um, the, next, the next round or two, just try not to get too close. So he's like, it, it, it allowing Rogers to smother him yeah, that's and, spoil, and spoil it. He's certainly not breathing heavily on his corner there, Liam. No. He's uh, definitely paced himself well in that opener. Instruction coming to gold in the corner there from a body language point of view is look for that left hand to the body. Yeah. Obviously, when the music's blaring and there's a lot going on, how much do you actually take in from the corner when they're talking to you? Um, or you'll say lots, I might yeah. know, if your trainer's listening. Well, if I don't do as everyone's told me when I get back, I get a little slap in the corner, so I try to uh, 
I try to listen the best I can. There's the body shot to his body. No well, idea. that's it. So yeah. the, the instruction given and the punch has been thrown. Not but very little snap coming back in the punches. No. Rogers not managing to extend his shots well, but lands with a right hand over the top. Kind of an orthodox style, doesn't he, really? From a, a standard stance, but the way he's throwing his punches are fairly unorthodox. Yeah. I think he's got a tighter guard than Cummins in the last fight, though. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he's more getting through the round instead of looking to inflict his own stuff. Yeah. Right hand from Gould there. Looks to follow it up, but again, tied up. You like to like just step back and have a little uppercut as you bring him onto it, but that's a good work. No, takes a right hand there, goal, but comes back with shots of his own. A good right hand over the top. He looks good to be fair. And, you know, he's not rushing his work, is he? No, definitely pacing himself, looking for the the clean shots, not looking to waste too much energy. Gives himself a little bit of distance, but he has been caught once or twice yeah. as he's coming away from the corner. Something for his uh, his team to be mindful of. <laughs> I just grabbed him in a headlock. Gold holding the centre of the ring. A nice straight there in the middle. Yeah, and that was better footwork from him yeah. there, wasn't he? Getting away from the, uh, the punch and return. A lot of journeymen do tend to be more counter punch style, don't they? They look for the yeah. that opening when the, the attacking fight has gone loose. But good shots inside there nice from Gold. Nice right hook to the body. And again. He just wants to give himself a little bit more room there, doesn't he? Almost like take half a step back. Yeah. Or maybe, maybe a little step to the side, create a different angle. He's got a tight guard, isn't he, right. Rogers? Yeah, Rogers has been very active this year. As I say, it's still his 25th professional fight. Just the one win, but... He's given a good few prospects some decent rounds this year. He moves a lot though, doesn't he? Got like yeah. he, he's feet him a lot, so I'm not sure if he'll take that much punishment or, you know, because whereas, like you said, Cummings was standing there, his guard was hard there, it, it's good to watch. But we, we prefer that, don't we? Yeah, as, yeah. As, as viewers, that's what we want to see. Um, but as I say, for a bit of longevity in it, yeah. I think Rogers is doing the right thing. Yeah, definitely. And you know, Liam's going to have to get used to this as well because you know, your first day when he fights, you're going against these sort of opponents. I was going to say he's going to have a few more of this type, yeah, yeah. isn't he, to get to get through. Third round of this one, scheduled for four, our second fight of the evening. Thank you for everyone that's joining the uh, live stream. We've still got Shazad Amran making his professional debut uh, in against Logan Palin. Uh, Jake Melvin, son of trainer Malcolm Melvin, is making his second fight of his professional career. He's in with the very experienced Naheem Ali, he's over 100 bouts. And uh, headline tonight, Troy Jones in that sixth rounder against the Bulgarian Konstantin Alexandrov. Uh, Troy 4-0. Looking a very good prospect fighting out of Birmingham. Good yep. to see him in, in six-run action against uh, Fighting Alexandrov, who has had 74 fights, won 12, lost 60, but has been stopped a few times. So there may be an opening there for Troy to get his second knockout. Yeah, definitely. I, I seen Troy at the way in yesterday. <laughs> he looks um, best shape I've seen him, to be honest. He's missed a big time there. He's been out in Dubai for his last two camps. So I, I, I suppose he'd come back over. <laughs> 
can't blame him really if the choice between training there or yeah, in our well, fine part I'm, of the I'm world. Ju I'm just jealous. I have it's not for you, is it? You're, you're happy down in, uh, in Wensbury, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're good with that. I mean, this round's a bit more of the same. Eh? You're just constantly moving. It's hard to pin down. Yeah, it's a puzzle that Gold's got to try and figure out yeah. here, isn't it? You know, he's he's showing a lot of patience, which is good. And maybe he has accepted that the stoppage isn't going to come and he's just yeah. got to get, get the clean work in and land as many shots as possible. It'd be easy for him to get really frustrated, throw some wild shots, and then you can get caught with shots yourself then. Unfortunately, the uh, KFC delivery that's just come past isn't for uh, myself and Tyler. Uh, <laughs> Nice little body shots there yeah. from Gold, left and right hands. His, his hands have dropped down as well now, he's, he's, he's confident. Probably because not much is coming back as well. Yeah. I think there does come that point in a fight when you realise that your opposition's power just isn't yeah. going to trouble you. Left hand over the top, jab falling just short. And nothing coming really back in there, yeah. Rogers through a, a three punch combination but no real speed or pop to the punches. Yeah, you, you, you I feel so fully. I think the better his opponent, the better he'll look. Do you know what I mean? But when, when they give you nothing, it, it's hard. But some good yeah. shots. He, he's game. He's trying. Yeah, better work there from Liam. And again, just yeah. took a couple of quick counter right hands. He's just turned southpaw now as well. Yeah. Switching southpaw, looking for that left, giving Roger hey. something else to think about. Go. Another round in the bank for him here. John Petit joining us on the live stream. Good to have you watching tonight, John. As I say, chuck all your comments and questions in. We'll try and cover off a few topics before the show's out. These fights do fly by. But we'll get a little bit more on what's next for uh, Tyler. And then put him on the spot with some end of year award <laughs> questions. Can I pick myself? You <laughs> certainly can. <laughs> can do the best fighter from West. Well, John, I'd say West Midlands, but you could expand it. You could go oh. England if you wanted. I think Liam Davis would be trying to claim that yeah, one as well. No, so. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's won enough awards. <laughs> So an interview with Frank Warren earlier talking about a potential Liam Davis Dennis McCann fight. I never seen the interview, I'd just seen Liam saying I'm ready for it early next year and he's in Dubai, I mean whatever. Yeah, it's a big it fight. I think that you know, it's a big fight. I don't think it'll be next or probably the one after that. If they can build it and get a big money uh, paid out of it. Yep. Yeah. I think almost McCann needs maybe one or two more yeah. for that. He looked very impressive. I mean, that win against James Beach has looked more impressive now course, after the yeah. result from last weekend. Fantastic result for uh, for Beachy, beating another unbeaten fighter, chucking himself right back in the title mix again. And that just shows how quickly fortune can change, isn't it? Yeah, I know he's a um, manager for the British yeah. now. Yeah. British title fight for James Beach Jr. I think that blew uh, Lee Eaton's plans a little bit for the yeah. fight he had. Been at, yeah. uh, I think signed and sealed, but uh, it's good when the best lay plans fall apart when the BCB guy gets the win. Definitely. Staying in the south course, don't so let's put the shot. Right. Yeah. So, uh, looks like he's got a, a little nick underneath his uh, right eye. Yeah, which almost makes it surprising that he switched south course, because it does yeah. expose that side of your right. face a little bit more to the jab. Which is back orthodox. And again, lands his punches and give himself a bit more space. Just needs to be a little bit crisp on those body shots, doesn't he? Yeah. He's getting the, the, the openings, but not quite running as clean as I'm sure he'd like.
good work in there from Cold again. He's held the centre of the ring the whole night. He's had. Yeah, he's been the boss in there, you know. Yeah, he's had Rogers on, on the back, back foot. the head then as well. And the wobbled him. Cole keeping his hands low. Looking maybe slightly frustrated in there, do you think? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's quite understandable. You, you've, you've trained, I don't know, six, seven, eight week camp, and you know, you want to put a show on, but it, it's hard when the other guy don't want, to, don't want to engage with you as much. Going for it now, though. Yeah, he, last bit. He, he, he had the ten seconds, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, and shot on the bell. Not quite sure what that was all about. I don't know. Did I, I don't know if I missed something or what. I don't know if he took a shot right at the end, but not enough. Well, I feel like. Um, Chris Kamal, you know when he did Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. I've just looked down at my laptop to see what I've potentially missed there, yeah. Red card, red card. <laughs> um, yeah, slightly bizarre ending to that one, um, but he's got up okay. And Unless he was just knackered, but yeah. he never looked that knackered. No. I, don't, I don't know. Maybe there was a shot. Just to wait the uh, referee scorecard. It's got to be another shot out, isn't it? Yeah, expect another 40-36. Liam Goal gets the win, 40 points to 36, moves on to 2-0. We'll be catching up with him shortly. So still plenty of action to come. Tick the box here, it's another win. It's another win. Yeah. Liam, 40 points to 36, you won every round, dominated every minute. A difficult night in there with an opponent who wasn't throwing much back at you. Yeah, it was very tricky. He was, uh, wasn't offering me much, you know, I was just looking to defend and keep out the way, so it was hard to break him down, but got the job done. Now, we saw you switching to Southpaw sort of after the second round. Was that to try and create a few more opportunities for you and a few more openings? Uh, yeah, it's something I've worked on for a long time in my career, so I'm fairly comfortable doing it. So. It's come second nature, really. Right, 2 and 0. Good start to your professional career. 2023, when are you looking to get next, get back out? Uh, I'm here in March, so hopefully get Christmas out of the way, fatten up a bit, get the ball rolling after Christmas, and then we'll see where we go. But hopefully, yeah, March. Well, congratulations on the win. I look forward to seeing you next year.
Well, they do like to keep us on our toes. We were expecting Shazad Amran, Logan Palin, but we've got Jake Melvin, the Himali. Dreadful ring walk music from uh, Jake. Yeah, he got some crowd going in the zone. Yeah. Yeah, got plenty of fans in. Very, very familiar name in uh, Jake Melvin's corner. Yeah. It's his dad, uh, Malcolm. Me, me and Jake got the same uh, SNC coach as well, so see him regular. Yeah. Good lad, Jake, as I say, from a boxing family. His second professional fight against Naheem Ali, fighting out of Blackburn. Fights mostly up in the northwest. Plenty of experience. And again, it's going to be a, another another test similar to the previous fight where can Jake create those opportunities yeah. and those openings? Nice body shot there. Started off nice, off the jab. Doubling it up. Jake made his debut back in April. After going another four rounds with Petr Alexandrov. And he had a long layoff from boxing. He boxed as a, a youngster. And then after a four or five year layoff to come back into the sport. Again, he understands the game, Jake. He did say that he wasn't necessarily going to be looking for the knockout. So he's not going to load up on shots. And we've seen that early on, picking his shots nicely. Yeah, and he's a young guy in here as well, but you know, with, with the experience of his dad behind him, a good team. Trains with uh, Aaron Cooper as well. He just won every round for that midfield start of the Both sold a lot of tickets in there. Yeah, I think so. Or uh, oh, they're just backing him. Good amount of support in there for uh, Naheem Ali. Could be the Shazadam Run fans, I think, as well. I think they're on the table. On the table's over to the uh, left. Right and over the top there from Melvin. He's looking for the little left up to the body. He's been a good shot for Jake so far. Uh, and he's got very, very good footwork. Very quick. Yeah. Now he's able to keep himself out of danger. Yeah. And inside is Ali switches southpaw. I say southpaw, he's almost square on, isn't he? There, really? <laughs> yeah. He's going to that body shot again. Yeah, just touches him with the jab upstairs. Took over the top, yeah, just misses. Yeah, a little combo just in there too. Um, yeah. Little body shot in, working straight up through the upper cut. Decent opener from Melvin. Second round of this fight, scheduled for four. Gives us a very quick time, Tyler, to talk about. We'll rattle through them. Fighter of the year. You can go UK and international if you wish. But who stood out for you in 2022? I'm, I'm obviously biased, but I'm not. Liam Davis has won the British and he's won the European. Um, so he's going to get my vote. But I think you look on uh, accomplishments. I think you Tasha Jonas has won a lot of belts since she's at higher weight. 
I just think like maybe she struggled for the big name though really. I think that is kind of the issue is it the recognisable name but if you look on paper you, you probably have to give it her wouldn't you yeah she had a fantastic year Natasha as I say has, has stepped up in weight won belts as I say hasn't had the big name opposition as you pointed out but three wins and a time well, of her career where I thought she may look at stepping away to, yeah. to come back in has been fantastic she had a great year wouldn't she and now she's got the belts you get the bigger name bigger money and everything wouldn't you yeah. and as we talked about numerous times women's boxing is uh, doing so well at the moment women's sport in general just looking at the sports personality of the year last night yeah and, uh, two of the top three are women women won team of the year coach of the year giving the men a run for the money they've the took there from Melvin and again jabbing smartly to the body that's a nice shot yeah. point scoring shots there he's boxing well yeah that's it again <laughs> he loves that little left hook or uppercut to the body. Yeah. It's working though, so yeah, if he's not broke. Yeah, it's been effective so far. Sharp with them up slipping in. Good head movement as well. Yeah, good wide stance he keeps. He can generate quite a lot of power off that jab from yeah. the stance, can't he, Melvin? Yeah, left hook to the body. Still a combination there. Oh, they're showing some good defensive work. Yeah. As there's not nothing coming back really from him, but defensively he's kept it tight, isn't he? He does. He throws that sort of almost half-hearted looking right hand, doesn't he? But it's yeah. just to give Melvin a, a reason to keep that left hand up. Footwork for Melvin. Jabs taken on the gloves, but the right hand sneaks him around the corner. Harley fires back with his own combination of jabs. Full short yeah. that right. Good defensive work there from Narvin. Yeah. Good footwork. Beautiful footwork. Right hand just falling short. Body shots gets yeah, there. There's a little tongue wiggling. That's how you know. You, that's how you know the punch has landed, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. That's good. Took a job then. Yeah. Or oh, jab up, half hook. Yeah. Good movement there from Jake. Shot again. He likes that shot, doesn't he? There it is yeah. again. Good round. Yeah, good decent round, round there from Melvin. seen it's taken Erling Haaland an entire 10 minutes to score yeah. in his return to uh, football after the World Cup. <laughs> it's a joke, isn't it? And Bapai and Messi's kind of took the line, like, off he went in, but he's made it back in. Yeah, he needs to let him know he's still kicking. Obviously, it's that time when you look back on the, the year as a whole for BCB. Been some fantastic fights, some great wins. Obviously, likes of Kirsty Babington. I was going to mention, I never mentioned Babington, but European champ. Yeah, winning it well and then defending it well. Yeah. I know from speaking to her recently, she wants to get a, a fight back in, in Wolverhampton. I think it's with the women's as well. There's, not, there's a lot less people in there, so... You're never far away from a world title, don't you? Yeah. The opportunities are there, definitely. And some of the divisions are quite shallow in terms of ranking, so yeah, if you definitely. can pick up a couple of wins. Yeah, nice combo. And so the likes of Ebony Bridges is showing that world title fights are out there. Yeah. And the likes of Sky Nicholson and others, I'm sure, will be looking. As I say, we mentioned Liam Davis, a couple of fantastic wins. Good left hook for the body there yeah. for Melvin, just returning to the action in the ring. Good work from Jake, this is. 
another unbeaten year as well for Nathan Heaney. Unfortunate to uh, have his yeah, last fight stopped. Yeah, so he kind of ended in. Um, obviously, still got the win, didn't he? But you know, I'm sure he'd be good as, yeah. as much as anyone he wanted to. On a, on a big there. pay per view yeah. platform, isn't yeah. it? It's either wanted to showcase his skills. And is it? Is it what we was all looking for? Two good shots. Uh, yeah. he's, he's picking him a bit more now, isn't he? Yeah. Sitting down on it, sitting down on it, on his legs and up in the mid. Yeah, really precise work from Melvin. It's he's looked good so far. Yeah. I like that one. Oh, that was a good body shot there. Yeah. I don't think he liked that one, did he? No. He never liked that one. Well, he, he, to complain. he points at his waistband as if he yeah. was a low shot, but he looked bang on. Yeah, good shot. And he's carrying his hands a little bit lower now, a bit wary of that body shot. Marley looking to just chuck a couple of little lead right hands over. Keeping his gloves up well, but Melvin showing a lot of patience. Yeah. He's kept, like, he's kept that same sharpness as well. Yeah, the head's always moving. He looks like he's got strong shoulders. You mentioned obviously the strength and conditioning. He's got strong shoulders. Yeah. Brett's doing a good job. Defensive work there from Melvin. Yeah, yeah I think um, in terms of BCB, it's been a bit of a up and down as a whole. Isn't it? I mean, like I've won my title and defended it. Kirsty's won a European, Liam won British and European. Obviously, we've had Zach and Lennox. Um, yeah, he, he just had the draw again and stuff, and the fight cancelled. I think he's boxing as a whole, into you know. Exactly, you have, to, you have to take the good with the bad, don't you? You would win some, lose some. Obviously, we had that, we had that difficult night, didn't we, down in London? Yeah. Um, the night where James the Beach, Beach got well, stopped by Dennis yeah. McCann. But you know, he, and he's Lennox. ended it with winning the IBO yeah. the other day. It is a mad underdog, and, and that, that it, shows how it can turn around. And obviously, Lennox saying it was a, a bit of a sh a bit of a shock result, but. When you're fighting at that sort of level, of course, there, yeah. there, there's no mugs out there, are there? They're all, they're all only good fighters, and you come up short that night, but hopefully we'll see him back in the ring soon. And uh, yeah, really disappointing for Zach. I mean, the hand injury looked awful. Yeah. Obviously, he's had the operation now, so we wish him a speedy recovery. And you have to really put your hands up, congratulate John Ryder. Yeah, of course, yeah. Looks like Canelo John Ryder is gaining a bit of steam. That fight could happen yeah. over in the UK. You know, you'd obviously fancy Canelo big time, wouldn't you? But you'd like to see Ryder get it. Like I would have liked to see Zach get it if that was. That's it. The winner know. of that fight. I mean, I'm one of those people. I, I thought that John Ryder beat Callum Smith. Yeah, yeah, me too. Um, I know a lot of people had it very close. I, I did think he did enough to win it, so he deserves another crack. And as uh, Dimitri Bivol shown, he's Canelo's not impossible to beat. No. In this iteration, of obviously Mayweather beating him as a welterweight. It's just, it just shows the levels, though, doesn't it? Uh, oh. oh, that was a look at, isn't it? Nice, a bit of movement then as well. Uh, almost too fast for himself. Yeah. Crowd imploring Liam to let the shots go, but. He's not going to be any. He's not going to be wasteful. Yeah. Looking for those single shots still. I like it. Is oh, great shot! Yeah. Really like. Mature performance from him. Yeah. Really smart performance. Good right hand to the body. He's not some of his work when he's had early on the ropes. He's still found room to whip the body shots in. Yeah, he's kept it, keeping his distance. Yeah. Nice left hand to the body. Again, shows that he went upstairs, got blocked. It was yeah. quick enough to look down for that left hook. <laughs> right, and just falling short there for Melvin. The 
Charlie, fans in the crowd looking to uh, raise their adopted man for the evening. <laughs> I think he's going to need a bit, a few, something more than a few cheers to open with this vote though. I do enjoy when crowds do that though. I remember I was at a show once and um, Pucci Lewis Van Post was on one of the <laughs> shows and uh, a big group of fans have just decided they were going to support him that night. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to see him. It? It's yeah. a character. That's good. I think I think Jake hurt him with that body shot then though. Malcolm was encouraging the one as well. Yeah, Malcolm looks very animated on the corner there. Last few seconds of this one. Good learning experience for Jake. Yeah, he's about it going out there as well. That's great performance that was. As this one sees the final bell. Another one I was thinking as well um, just popped to mind. I think that Dan Aziz has had a few good wins, didn't he? He certainly and I, has. And obviously the Rockfield one was. I know he's, he's passed his best, but we're still yeah. getting him out of there the way that well, winning the fight the way that he did. Yeah, yeah. It was impressive. He seems to fight anyone and everyone, didn't he? he had a good win against Shaka, didn't he? Yeah. There's, at that sort of British level, there has been some some real good promise. I think. On the world scene, again, it's been an up and down year. We've had good wins, uh, the likes of Joe Cordina won and then unfortunately was stripped of his yeah. world title. But Carl Frampton coming up short, a couple of weeks back losing his. We're, we're a bit of a far cry. It wasn't that long ago where we had you know, 11, 12 world champions and we've not been yeah. at that level for a while. So there's only about three or uh, about five, I think. Yeah, Lee Wood's been upgraded you know, to the top. Melvin takes it, 40 points to 36. Yeah, well deserved as well. Yeah. We'll be catching up with Jake in just a moment. Jake, congratulations on the win, 2-0. A really mature performance. You didn't waste any pot shots, you didn't throw any punches. You are very, very good evening for you. Yeah, it's improvement from the first fight anyway. That's what I, that's what I tried to do, improve from every fight, really. That's it. Obviously, you got your dad in the corner. You look very animated at points, particularly in that third round when you were landing those body shots. What next for yourself? Obviously, you had a long time out of the ring since April, hoping to get out again shortly. Yeah, but everything feels good. Obviously, I broke my wrist after the first one, but everything feels good. So hopefully get out as soon as possible, really, and keep improving. Jake, congratulations on the win. We look forward to seeing you out next year. Okay, thank you very much, mate. Cheers.
Thank you. 
Shouts at Amran, fighting out of Burton on Trent, where I was born, fantastic town. Uh, in with Logan Paling tonight. It's a professional debut for Shazad, he's got plenty of support. They'll be keeping the security guards busy as they ask them to sit down throughout. I don't forget a last long. Yeah. First round of this one, scheduled for four. In against Logan Paling, Logan's fifth fight. He's lost the first four. Shazad in the uh, black shorts with the uh, rather fetching lace work. I won't be able to put it off me. Mm. I'd have to fight in a t-shirt, I'd have to show us. Quick start from Shazad, but as you can see, Palin knows what he's here to do. Yeah, he looks, he looks quite slick, doesn't he? Yeah. Palin as well, and defensively. He looks bigger as well, doesn't yeah, he, he, really? Yeah, does, massive too. This fight slightly out of the scheduled order. Now acting as our chief support. Main event, Troy Jones, still to come. Good defensive work there from Logan. Yeah. It was a big combo up there, but he's all tucked in. Put them all on the, on the gloves in the arms. And again, that was sneaky right hand over the top. Oh, Shazad! Yeah, I was just about—I was just about to say there before he took that shot and he stumbled against the ropes. He just found himself caught very square on there, wasn't yeah. he? I think as well because Logan's—he's like, only had four. I know he's lost the four, but he's still got hope. Do you know what I mean? To be, to be winning the fights. I mean, he's not fallen into that routine of losing quite yet. As we've Johnny Nelson, I think, lost yeah. his first few, and on to get world honours. And Logan looks very keen on the job tonight. Good left up to the body as well. 
And again, that just shows it's small, it's small errors, isn't it? Though he got himself caught square on, yeah. and he was wide open for that shot. It's again, it's these learning fights. I, th I think he needs to come back with something really to uh, discourage Logan. It looks like he's bust up his nose. I think his blood's pouring from the from our vantage point. It's quite difficult. I think from the right hand side. Yeah. It's that affects him getting into the, the next three rounds. Yeah, his corner looked ready with the towel. Yeah, yeah. You never know how the refs will see it, but it's probably going to be a potentially a round for Logan there. He landed the better shots, didn't he? Yeah. Adam's and finished the stronger. I think the first first half, you, you, you know, he probably should have, but the better work and the cleaner shots definitely from Logan yep, just having a quick look as a uh, small well under his left eye interesting opener of this one I think this next thing this next round could see the trend of the old fight, I think. Yeah. And I think it really will depend on how much Logan steps on it, doesn't he, if he yeah. looks to go out again. You can tell that nose is bothering him. He's just almost wiped his nose on the way out. And he's on his head. Great job. Yeah. <laughs> really sharp jump. He looks massive to him, doesn't he? He does look so much bigger. I, I don't know what the weight disparity uh, was or wasn't at the weigh-in yesterday. But he looks very strong and looks very slick in there, has yeah, to be said. That, that little smart move there, putting his right glove up yeah. as he was going backwards. He's not like a rough and tough sort of guy, is he? He's, nope. he, he's quite slick, skill-wise. Bit of an air of caution to Amran's work. And that blood is flowing. Yeah. Little left hand to the body. Shazad fight, Shazad had an open mouth again, probably just trying to get that air through. When you pick up an injury like this, Tyler, I mean, how do you think it affects fighters' mentality? Do they, do they feel like they've got to do more, do they, or do you want to almost go into a bit more caution because you don't want it to get any worse? I suppose every fighter is different in there. I've only had one, really. We have got right to... I was a lot worse as well, I think, but I was more of like... I'm going to try and give for this now because I know it's gonna, I'm on limited time. It feels a long, long time ago, that fight, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, it <laughs> Side for that one. That one of my best moments in the ring. Uh, we'll, we just glaze over that one. Yeah. Ooh, right nice. uppercut there. Beautiful shot, that was. Logan holds his hands by his side. I mean, she has got more work rate, but you can throw as many punches right if they're not landing. Yeah. And he has struggled to land much so far, switching southpaw. And immediately lands with a good left hand. Yeah, Retreats back into the orthodox. And his fans look to rouse him. Logan almost inviting him on, isn't there? He's looking to counter punch. Yeah. Some good scoring shots from him again. Oh, Big right hand left, Logan takes a step back. And it's looking a very, very difficult night's work in there from Shazad Amran. Not how he wanted his professional debut to go. Still plenty of time left, though. Uppercut just falls short. His face is gone, though, as it's, well. It, it looks messy. I mean, I think I think Logan's boxing nice, uh, <laughs> because he's boxing and he's a way fighter. You just you, you're kind of uh, yeah. I'd, well, I'd like to see him want to do a bit more work, maybe. 
Well, we saw Logan in with Mikey Lee Broughton um, yeah. quite recently. You know, yeah. Mikey won every round of that one, and it looked comfortable. It looks, it looks a totally different fight yeah, in there yeah. tonight. But only halfway down, there's still time, and again, you never know how the referee will have scored those opening two. He's just gone to have a quick look at that. It, it just got to show about records, does not it? They've, they've looked at his records in four fights, four losses. Think David Tim will take him. Yeah, matchmaking is the trickiest part of the sport. Getting that right, and uh, but maybe I think it potentially that that cut to the nose has just changed trains the fight so much yeah. and if he is struggling to get his uh, breath then you can just see any chance of getting he's dabbing away at the nose but if he stays busy he will likely win the round he's just got to get himself into this one better work defense to be there just slips logan's right hand so that's the thing with logan you, you can outwork him yeah, and he's not and Logan's getting the first punch off every time yeah. isn't he he went back in the straight line and got caught with a few jab yeah. Yeah, got a bit more defensive to start the round yeah. nothing really a good combination of shots but nothing really landing too clean I just think Logan might be a bit guilty of being a bit too flashy, you know, he's blocked yeah. like 10 shots or something and dropped his hands and not done nothing back. Yeah, and if one of those 10 gets through yeah, and you yeah. don't throw anything in return, the he's ref will the, see that as the better exchange. exchange. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> now again, Logan keeping his hands low. Cameron struggling to kind of plant his feet really as he's throwing those shots everything's sort of coming off balance but he's, he's working hard in there yeah, definitely at work isn't he? <laughs> it's, it's, it's all right doing that but still some shots going to get through yeah. it though if you're giving this round now she does got to be winning card I don't think Logan's not through much has he at all no, he's just not done much So dispensing with that jab a little bit. When he poses himself like that, she's like just back on the ropes and stuff, you know. You know. When he just throw again, slightly strange actions from there. He's almost yeah. kind of like posting him on, but it's a good round over the top. It is, it's, yeah. it's flashy for the sake of flashy at yeah, times, yeah. isn't it? Do you it's, it's I find it a bit frustrating watching because I, I think like you could do so much more. Yeah, you just think, well, just go for it then yeah. and put it, put it on him. Yeah. So that, <laughs> so that, but he's, he's probably lost that round then, yeah. do you know what I mean? And In a four round fight where you can't, you can't, you just, can, yeah. you can't give rounds away. You just can't give rounds away. As the away fighter as well. No. I mean, just seeing some of the comments coming through on YouTube. Let the punk talk saying, man, he thought the Logan was the prospect in there. Yeah. And uh, look how big he is compared to Shazad. Potentially an awful lot to play in this fourth round. Yeah, definitely. I'd, I think I got Logan 2 1, but if he does another round like that, and then if the ref gives Shazad the, the second round, yeah. then it's a win for him. You know, every referee is different, but what they tend to tend to score on, aggression is always a big part of it. Fourth and final round. Shazad Amran making his professional debut. Overcome a very difficult opener. He's worked his way back into this one. Oh, 
people in the comments saying they think that Logan's definitely won the last couple of rounds, but better stuff here from Shazad. Logan missing there with his right and left hand. It, it, I mean, it's sloppy, it, isn't it? it? Yeah, it's good work rate right, from Shazad. There's pure arm shots, up there. There's yeah. not one bit of menace in them. There's just like ten quick pity patter shots. And you'd only have to counter that with one decent shot and you know. Not that Logan's done that this round. As I touched on earlier, he's standing almost on his tiptoes yeah. when he's throwing the punches and you're not gonna generate a lot of power. But that's better from him. And maybe that is the way he needs to go. If he's not generating big power, just be yeah. busy and work get up the work rate. You wonder how much that little flurry may have taken out of him though. Yeah. Good right hand to the body there from Logan. I think this is where you find out how much Logan actually wants to win. Yeah. Is he bothered? Is he that Arsenal winning? Like that, you know? yeah. Referee telling him to uh, keep up a good left hand to the body there and a massive uppercut inside. That's a good shot there from Logan. But again, a single shot takes his step back. Shots taken on the gloves then by Shazad. It's a good fight though. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's been interesting, <laughs> certainly been interesting. Very different styles. You look on paper, you see a 4 0 guy's lost 4 out of 4 against a prospect, you know. Yeah. And that's it with these sorts of fights on these shows. You can get some real, really interesting matchups. It's not about the records. So we saw in that last fight, Jake Melvin having to calmly and cautiously work his way through his opponent, Naheem Ali. Been a much, much different contest this one. As the seconds tick away in this one, referee gives him a quick warning as the heads come together. Nothing really landing there, yeah, was there? Yeah, there. Shots there. Yeah. Potentially very interesting scorecards. Yeah, yeah. So we'll build that up and it'll be 40 36 as that, but you know. <laughs> but very interesting fight. I mean, ability wise for me, um, L L Logan was head and shoulders above, but you've still got to put it into action in the only show. He showed glimpses of it and he looks. Uh, yeah, ability is one thing, yeah. but it's about being, not being wasteful. And some, some away fighters really, some away fighters don't have that natural talent, but they're really good at what they do. And then you get other fighters. I always think Serge Bamo is one. Yeah, yeah. Such a good fighter, yeah. but holds himself back. And I think Logan tonight has held himself back. And it may well have cost him. I mean, it's an horrible thing to say, isn't it? But yeah, you, you question why they hold yourself back sometimes, don't you? With you know, you win, you might you might not get a fight for the six months, are they? Well, that's that's the problem, isn't it? takes it 39 to 38 Logan only getting one round or oh, say one round getting a, a share of another and uh, difficult really wasn't it on reflection it, I don't I didn't see it as a 39 38 fight however I, I never, but Logan allowed it, it to be. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, he allowed it to be. You, you're fighting on the away show. You Only know. one man was trying to win that fight. Yeah. I mean, you, you don't want to throw any disrespect to Shazad, but I just think Logan was had that much more ability, and he's, he's, he's frustrating. Yeah. It's an experience in there for him. Yeah, but you know, it's his debut. Yeah. I, I, I think he enjoys it, man. Yeah, well, that was a good catch. We'll hopefully be catching up with him in just a moment.
Yeah. Zad, congratulations on the win. 39 points to 38, your professional debut out of the way. I bet you weren't anticipating a cut in the first minute of the fight. Know, you yeah. battled back from it really well. How did you find that experience? Oh, flipping hell, man. If I caught with the first left hook on my nose, I think I broke my nose, man. But obviously, the journey begins tonight. <laughs> and yeah. obviously, big up to everyone that's come to support me down tonight. We bought a ticket, big up to all my sponsors as well. And obviously, my family, you know, kept on supporting me from the amateurs to the pro debut, man. And, you know, we're going to go back to the drawing board and, you know, hopefully get back at it again, man. Yeah, you had a huge amount of support here this yeah, evening, but you also showed as well, and that's particularly in that second, third and fourth round, about being busy and point scoring shots. He just wasn't doing enough against them, was you? Yeah, 100%, man. To be fair, this is a boxing game, man. You get caught with a shot, and obviously, well, look, he happened to me in the first round. And, you know, you have to have grit in this game, otherwise, you know, you go home a loser. You know? Well, congratulations on the win. Go celebrate with your fans and go get that nose looked at. <laughs> Thank you very much, man. Event time, super middleweight prospect Troy Jones steps back into the ring. Perfect start to his career, Tyler, 4 0, 1 stoppage.
Deus. Main event time, Troy Jones, Konstantin Alexandrov. Let's just say Troy, 4-0, and oh, one stoppage. Troy, Troy, I don't think Jinx to me, Abel. I'm expecting big things, I like Troy Ali, I do. Shared loads of rounds with him. Yeah, he's had a, a good start to his career. Alexandrov, loads of experience, his 75th fight. 110, lost 60 with four draws. Has been stopped 12 times, but he's tough as nails. Troy, the naturally taller man. So this one's scheduled 4-6. Plenty of support in the comments for Troy, Ash Clark and Bills. Troy in the black shorts and Alexandrov in the red with the white piping. Right there against him, isn't he? Much bigger guy, isn't he? Yeah, much, much bigger. So I talked to him originally, you see from the middle one here, but I think he's gonna. Oh, I'm not sure, but I think he's gonna be into like heavy. Yeah. He's a big guy, he can fill out a lot heavy. He's definitely got, definitely got the frame for it, hasn't yeah. he? He does. You see, when, he, cause when he's fighting, he fights with his head quite far forward, but when he's stood up tall, he's yeah. a big guy. I think that's what it is as well. I think previous, his first two fights or something, it, it, you know, it, it get a bit wild and excited, but just sitting back on it, picking his shots a bit more now. And he's, he's talked in the past about his sparring and saying that you know, he's been in with a lot of really elite good guys, self and others. And that's where you're going to be doing a lot of your learning as well. It's not just in the six rounds tonight, isn't it? It's, it's those rounds outside. He's taking his time here, picking some nice shots, straight one, two. It there. Yeah, starting the round strongly. And Troy, he's super fit, Troy is to be fair. He always has been every time I spotted him, he's always in good condition. Yeah, just popping with that jab, working his way into this one. Wild right hand yeah, there for right. Alexander. So, I'm about to say, enough is coming back, then he threw a wild one. Well, to the body there from Troy. But he's warned about keeping it. I a bit harsh, I thought there. I'm still watching the replay. No, it looks clean to me. I think the ref got bored, I think, as soon as he's involved. <laughs> <laughs> and then chopping right hands in. You know, obviously he's not fighting today, is it Josh Stokes? Yeah. Um, he's ill in here, but potentially that then took a fight for like a Midlands or something. You paid I've seen them two spar with each other and you would pay money to see um, even the sparring never mind the fight. Well do you know what we need in we just need more Midlands area yeah, and area top fights in general. I, I had a look through the list the other day and there's some, there's some belts that haven't been contested in ten years. And how can that be right? I mean it's so difficult and I know BCB's frustration when certain fights haven't been approved or allowed, then you see other ones that get approved and it baffles you a little bit, but you know, it's a good belt. You know, Midlands area, central title, southern oh, area. You throw, you throw Midlands area as the main event to do, but you know, yeah. the places, the atmosphere is a stuff too low, the lads. Yeah. Fans like a belt, but it do requires it's not all on the promoters, which it requires fighters and teams to be willing to yeah. take those. I mean and there's there's almost a fear, isn't there? No one wants to lose in the first six or seven fights, but... I think so. And I think there's a lot more opportunities probably now than even a few years ago with the more, there's more TV opportunities and, yeah. you know, it doesn't really seem to pop up, does it? No, and then you've various IBO belts and others where they, yeah, yeah. there are opportunities where you can fight guys from outside of your area. Of and, course, yeah. and, you know, why fight a guy, risk against another one beating guy probably for Midlands when you could get five, times plus the money for a bigger belt and it's a TV opportunity. Yeah, but it would be good to would be good to see more of those uh, those belts contestants. It's not just the Midlands, it's up and down yeah, the country. Yeah, 
So he's having to kind of feel his way into this one. He's getting nothing thrown back at him. He's a he's stocky built fighter, there, Alexandrov, isn't he? He's keeping himself very compact again. Now that left hook looks a little bit lower. Good round over the top. What's he from sparring? What's his power like? He's got power. He's sharp. And he's fit as well, so, you know, the power, he, he keeps coming because he's fit. He's, he doesn't he did wear down. Well, I, think, I think our spars are a bit more higher pace because I'm throwing a lot more back than in this place, but, you know. I think your first few fights, you will have hard, a lot harder spars in any yeah. fight. Nice and left up to the body. And again, right hand just on the belt line. Nice little combination yeah, there. Good body work, isn't that there from Troy? They showed a lot of discipline, didn't they? Learning him up with his knee down, keeping that right hand down. Right, now that one did look low. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But again, when you're so tall and you're fighting down, I suppose it's always a risk. I think, you know, he's, he's compact in all the way. Got a very short midriff, isn't he, Alexandra? The gap yeah. from his sort of his armpit to his waist is low. Wearing his shorts quite high. Good work there from Troy. And it's only the second round, he's starting to catch him through now. Yeah, yeah. Left hand against the body. Yeah. And a good round to finish the round. Yeah, finish the round. Best punch of the fight so yeah. far. He's doing the right thing, he's being patient. Might be a bit early today, but it looks like he's breaking him down already. But he's, he wouldn't land any shots around earlier, was he? And he's landing a few strikes. Yeah. Working his way into the fight, definitely. Alexandrov standing between rounds, getting a bit of a grill in from his coach. Been working together for a number of years, I've seen uh, these two. Of this one scheduled for six. Referee giving Troy a bit of a talking to, I presume, about the low punches. Yeah. I don't think Troy took much notice. <laughs> <Not laughs> he was looking above him, yeah. beyond him. <laughs> The referee asserting himself. Been a, a really rubbish few weeks, really, for refereeing and boxing in terms of losses. Yeah. Lost uh, the great Steve Smoger and Mills Lane. So those uh, familiar with the Tyson Holyfield fight? That was uh, one of Mills Lane's throwing Tyson out of that one. And Smoger was great from a fan's point of view. Always let a fight go. Lead left hand there from Troy. Oh. And again, really digging that body shot in. It was just that everything was coming off the jab and he just mixed it up and turned it round. Good right hand inside again. Alexandra finding himself getting caught a little bit static now. Everything off that jab, switching yeah, from the head to the body. Yeah, walked onto a right hand. A 
Nice little combination yeah. again. Follows it with a lovely I'm left. Oh. And he won. Puts oh. Alexandra down. I just went to have luck on the scene here. I think it was the shot before that yeah. shot that did the damage. Takes the standing, well, takes the count of eight. Troy straight back in, looking for any more left hooks. Alexandra going to have to use all the survival skills here, but again, those temple shots, aren't they, really causing damage that right side. I think Alexandra might be done. I think he's done. No. It's going to be over this he's not he's it's looking away the fight should be stopped and it is it's going to be stopped big stoppage win for troy jones in that main event Constantin never he never recovered from that first knockdown did he great way to end the year for troy you know, I feel, I feel for him as well because he was meant to fight, was it last month? Yeah. Um, I don't know what happened there, the opponent pulled out last minute or something. And then, yeah, yeah. He on it. He's done well to get himself back out this year and, you know, for, it's the crunch time now for you know, people watching this fight back who have come to support him tonight. The fight, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh are the hardest ones to sell, aren't they, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. And the, he needs your support, keep coming out and seeing him because there will be big fights in his future. He'll be one, no, he'll be tight, he'll still be all right uh, uh, tomorrow, Lou. And you know, look at everything that he, when he's working off his jab like that. He's slowed down a bit, he used to be 100 miles an hour, everything, and you know, he'd take a load of shots himself, but I think he probably took one shot that, that right hand in that fight. Yeah, showed a lot of patience there, picked yeah. his shots well. It's uh, Constantine's 13th stoppage loss. 61st lost overall, but plenty of good fighters have gone the rounds with him. And we'll be catching up with Troy shortly. Troy, 48 men have failed to stop him. You tore him apart inside three rounds. Fantastic performance, great way to end the year. Thank you, yeah, wicked way to end the year. I was back out in, uh, I was out in November the 13th and the, the show come up. Four miles ago, go straight into the camp, finish the year on a strong. I had a bit of a break um, because I was transitioning to a new coaching lease. So I wanted to give a bit of time. And I think we've had that time now, and now it's ready to uh, rock and roll into the new year. Now, Tyler Denny on commentary was saying how patient you were and how well you were picking your punches. Yeah. 
those headshots at the end, he just couldn't cope with them, could he? No, no, he couldn't. He couldn't. And it's been working on me. Lee, I normally rush my shots, uh, not put my knee into him and not put my knuckle into him. And he's slowing me down. Um, my last fight, Lee, was over in Dubai training some lads. Um, so he wasn't actually in my corner for my last fight. And it showed the difference when he's in the corner, when, when he tells me what to do. I'm learning still, so sometimes I don't think as quick as I should in there. So when I've got him in the early telling me what to do, um, I'm going to be a problem, I know I am. Tyler was also saying you were enjoying those camps over in Dubai. Bit better than training in the Midlands. Yeah, yeah. Well, beast training near minus seven, and especially that BCB gym, mate. Um, but now it's been wicked. I'm, I'm sparring lads that, that are sharp as the sharp as fuck. So long, sharp as fuck, and it's quickening me. It's quickening my movement. Um, so it's all showing. But like I said, I'm learning, mate. And into the new year, you're going to see big things with me and Lee, 100. percent oh, Congratulations on the win, five and zero. Oh, fantastic year. We look forward to seeing you out next year. BCB as well. Thanks to all here. Nice ones. Well done, mate. Troy Jones there, fantastic way to end the show, Dan, fantastic way to end the year, really good stoppage victory for him. Yeah, absolutely, Christmas cracker, you always want to finish with him on a bit of a high, and look, he was too good, he was too strong, um, decent performance from, from Troy, it's been a really good year for him, we'll be able to move him on, I'm sure he's, I'm sure he said to you in that interview, um, he'll be looking now, really pushing on next year, we've got to get some Midland area title fights on our shows now, there's lots of those belts vacant, we've got a lot of lads who are at a stage of their career where we need to kick him on and someone like Troy is perfect for that Midlands area and I thought he topped off a really decent uh, night, night uh, boxing tonight. Yeah, interesting show overall, obviously wins from the likes of Liam Gold. Jake Melvin I thought looked impressive this evening. Yeah, look, he, you know, he, his old man was a decent fighter, wasn't he? So, you know, have him Malcolm in the corner. Jake's going to be a decent boxer. He's early on in his journey. He's now 2-0, and oh, so he's got a little bit of work to do and just get... Look, there's a lot of these lads who've just got to get busy, got to get active, got to get boxing a little bit more regularly, get three, four, five, six fights under their belts uh, in the next 12 months, and then they can be kicking on as well. And both debutants are coming away with the win. One had it slightly easier than the other, but they'll both learn a lot from this evening. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, look, I thought Logan Palin was uh, was good value to, to, this evening. Um, I think he had a bit of a, a breather in the third, and that just allowed uh, Amran back in. But look, credit to Amran in the sense that you know he stuck he stuck with it, and all you can ask for on your pro debut is to get a victory. So he got that. Um, but yeah, it was certainly a tough night's work. Uh, welcome to the pros, I suppose. Absolutely. Well, Dan, thank you so much for joining us tonight. As always, thank you to everybody who has watched these shows live or watches them back on YouTube. 22nd show of the year, Dan. It's been a fantastic one. More again next year. I'm glad you counted because I wasn't sure how many. So 22nd, 22 shows in a year is yeah, it's good going. And we wouldn't be able to do it without our sponsors, the likes of um, Alliance Scaffolding and Jobsworth Recruitment. Without those guys, the likes of uh, Wayne Downing and Rob Hayes, we just wouldn't be able to uh, put these shows on in the way that we do. So massive thank you to those guys. Um, thanks to everybody who tunes in and watches our shows. And look, hopefully 2023 we'll be able to put on some more more big shows, both locally and, and working with the likes of Matt and Frank Warren, and the guys who've been working over the last uh, 12 months. Absolutely. Thank you again, Dan. It's been a great year. And uh, join us back in 2023. Thanks, Paul.